Hello, and thank you for tuning in to today's platform tip of the week. I'm uh, very excited to be introducing our new web-based charting software. And in this presentation, I will show you how to save and implement a study collection on our new web-based charts. So in front of you, you have the 6E instrument. In the upper right-hand corner, you can select Display and Studies. Now in Studies, you can see that I've already added the volume profile, the volume, and the VWAP, which stands for Volume Weighted Average Price. Now on my VWAP, I right-clicked on that study, I added my settings, and you can see with these yellow lines that their uh, display is two standard deviations from the volume weighted average price. And I'm going to add one other indicator that I like seen on a chart, and that is Bollinger Bands, simply by clicking Studies, scrolling down to Bollinger Bands, and left-clicking click to implement them on the chart. Now, once this is set up in a way that you like and you'd like to save, very simple. All you have to do is collect or select View and Save View. And you can save this template as anything that you want. So I'm going to uh, say, let's call it Marcus Z1. Okay. I'm going to cl uh, click Save. I have already populated the S&P September 2019 contract on a separate tab. And I am going to refresh this tab uh, just by clicking uh, the refresh button in the upper left-hand corner of Windows uh, or excuse me, Google Chrome. Once I refresh this, I can simply select View, and you can see there is the study collection that I have saved. I'm going to click Marcus Z1. You can see how quick it applies the study collection to a new chart. That's my platform tip of the week. Please let me know if you have any questions going forward. You can always email me directly at mz at infinityfutures.com. Thank you very much and have a very productive week.